Hi everyone, I'm Christian and I'm the program coordinator at the White River Partnership and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the newest conductivity pens for your water quality monitoring. To turn on the pen, it's a one click. You're going to press this button right here once, just a one tap, and the pen will be on. It's ready to use when you can have these. this reading here for the conductivity read 0, 0.0 and underneath it you'll see a temperature reading. Now that the pen is on and ready, you can take your conductivity sample. For these pens, you need to use a fill cap to get the reading. You're not going to insert the pen directly into the water, and you're not going to fill a secondary container and put the pen in. For these new ones, you need to use the fill cap. And you can see on the cap, there's a line that you need to fill the water to. So at your site, you're going to enter the water. Fill the cap up. You can pour off the water to get to the black fill line. Here we're right about at the fill line. And so you're gonna put the pen in like this. You'll see the immediate reading on this is jumping around. You can see it's right at 158, 160 now. So you're gonna to wanna to let this sit for a few minutes. So what I do when I'm sampling is I either wear this so it sits upright and I can continue with the rest of my sampling or find a shaded place that you can put it down sitting upright where it won't fall down. All right, so it's been about two minutes that this pen has sit here, sat here and you can see the conductivity rating is 180. It's been jumping around a little bit, but it's about stabilized where it's, it's fluctuating between 180.2 and 180.6. So we'll take this reading. You'll also see on the bottom, there's the temperature reading at 62.2. On our data sheets now, we have the temperature um, as a data field you can report. So please make sure to write down the temperature as well. So when you're done, now that we've completed it, you're gonna take this off. You can dump the water so it's dry put it back on and then you're gonna press and hold the power button for about three seconds and the power will go off. 